And guys, I want you to check out how packed this is right now. Look at this. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a little while before I get in here. gents and everybody else in between welcome to another video uh jesse here back at it again hope you guys have had a good week so far it took me about 30 minutes we had to go away around we had to go in some parking garage to go park yeah that was a lot of fun getting to but we are here at slammed enough car show for in the fall there's already a lot of good stuff i'm seeing right now so look forward to you in the show look forward to showing you guys some content i'm already out of breath it's fine when you're fat walk up one hill and I'm already out of breath so if you guys are looking forward to the content if you guys uh like it please hit that like button hit that subscribe button and uh let's get guys let's go have some fun I'm ready to sit down <laughs> I'm not even sorry today either man
right guys that was slammed enough Gallenberg 2023 so I've got interesting opinions on it one word to describe slammed enough Gallenberg 2023 was well slammed in two different ways uh, let me explain in one uh, in one aspect the show was slammed in terms of the cars there were a lot of cars there which I'm definitely not complaining about that. There were a lot of really awesome modded up cars there. A lot of like, you know, 240s, S14s, there were a lot of S2Ks. Uh, there was a few, you know, high-end GTRs. But there were a lot of really awesome wide-body cars as well. There was one, I think it was like a BRZ or GR86 that had like the, I think it was the Torque wide-body kit on it. GR86 BRZs also had the new Pandem kits. So those cars were absolutely fantastic. I love seeing those on there. So it was great to see just the environment itself as well. There were tons of cars coming in as we saw at the very beginning of the video. Tons of cars coming in. Um, I was stuck in like 30 minutes worth of traffic trying to just get into the event itself. So in that aspect, it was good. So let's go to the other part, the other slam part. It was slam packed full of people. Normally, I don't struggle like taking pictures of cars at car shows. Even at rod runs, I don't really struggle that bad in terms of just getting pictures. But this event, oh my gosh, I ha <laughs> Lord had to help me because I had to wait so long just to get, you know, one picture of every car, you know. Normally that's what I do is try to get, you know, a picture of every car in the show just because I try to be as nice as I can in that regard. You know, don't try to uh, leave any car left behind in terms of pictures. Videos are a different story. I know in some cases I have to omit some cars and that kind of stuff. It's just how it is with, with you know, my camera and only have one battery that kind of stuff but yeah there were a lot of people there and i just literally could not believe that there were so many people there it was ballistic just trying to get it out like right now it's 5 30 i got here at like i think i think it's about one when i was finally able to park up i've been here for a long time yeah it was there were a lot of people there a lot a lot a lot overall the event was great i had a good time talking to a lot of people as well you know we were all going through the same thing everybody you know a lot of photographers were trying to get videos and photos and stuff like that and we had to wait a while so but it is what it is i mean it's part of just car culture and just you know car shows in general so sometimes you just got to deal with it but anyway guys if you enjoyed the video please uh hit that like button hit that subscribe button until next time guys take care god bless have a good one